Hello, everyone. Welcome to Water Tech with Todd. I'm your host, Todd Schneider. In honor of National Backflow Prevention Day, August 16th, today's video, we are going to go over some of the new features on the Watts Backflow Prevention Dash FS flood sensor. All right, so this is going to be our standard Watts LF009-QT. But what you're going to notice is in the model number, they've now added a dash FS, and that is going to be our flood sensor. What that's going to do is it's going to add an additional port on the bottom of that relief valve. So if we ever have a discharge of water, we're going to know. And in this video, I'm going to show you how that works. All right, so what we have here is our LF009-QT for our quarter turn ball valves. But you'll notice what we've done is on our relief valve, we have our dash FS, which is our flood safe. Um, if you decide down the road, hey, I'd like to be able to monitor my system. I'd like to be able to know if we're having any issues. You can buy additional features that will already plug directly into your relief valve, which will have our sensing and our cellular gateway. This is going to give you the ability to know if you have any issues. This is going to let you know immediately. So why would you want to monitor a backflow preventer? So if you know backflow prevention and you've worked with backflows, you'll notice right away that on any of our ASSC 1013 backflows, there's always going to be a relief valve. Now, this is the hard one. These systems, these devices are designed to fail. If we would lose our downstream pressure, this is going to dump water. If we have major back pressure in our upstream, this is going to cause this device to dump. If we have any issues internally, this device is going to dump. Now, why would you want to have control? If this device is in an unoccupied room, in a basement, anywhere where you can't put your visible eyes on it to see what's going on, anytime that this thing dumps, you could potentially flood out a room causing some major damage. All right, now you ask why. Why would I need to monitor if any water's coming out of here? If you really look at our spec sheet, and you'll find on the LF009, if I have 80 pounds of pressure coming into this device, we have the potential to dump up to almost 40 gallons a minute out of this relief valve. Now, tell me what floor drain that's been in newly installed or maybe an existing could take that amount of water and not hesitate. Okay, so now you've decided, hey, you're right. We need to have some sort of ability to know what's going on with our backflow when we're not around. And we've decided, hey, we're going to go with the watch LF009-QT-FS. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually physically push this on. We're going to wire everything up over to our cellular gateway. We'll have three wires that will plug directly into our system. We'll also have a 110 outlet that'll simply wire up and plug into any 110 outlet. Now that we've got everything hooked up, we are completely connected to our emails and our text messages and then any of our sync to apps that we'll have. If water will dump out of this system, what you're gonna find is that this green light here is gonna start flashing red. Our bottom third light will now turn orange at that time, it's going to instantly email you, text you, and let you know, hey, we've got a problem with the device, and someone's got to come over here and take care of it. All right, so hopefully this video answered some questions of why we would add just a, a random plastic piece to our relief valve and why we would call it a flood sensor. Now remember, all backflows with an ASSC 1013 rating is going to have a relief valve on the bottom. They're designed to fail. So if we have issues before, or after, or inside, we're going to have water. But now watch what their ingenious idea is able to easily hook in a modular, go to a cellular gateway, keep you connected. So when your backflow is having problems, you're going to know right away. Now, if you're in the area of the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana market, and you want to come in for a class that we can sit down and learn how all this works, really learn how to wire this up. It's a very simple process, but when you're able to do it live in a controlled environment, it makes it a little bit easier than doing it out in the field. Please reach out to Disney McLean and ask your local rep, how can we get in here and train on some of your devices? Well, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully this helped out again. Um, 
please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, it really gives me the ability to jump in and do more videos. And also tune in next time where we're going to jump into not just our flood safe, but watch new leak defense system where we can actually protect water, not only at the backflow, but at the main water supply.